Yes, family. This is Bomani Time, but we're live on Revolutionary Cam, and we're having dinner with the beautiful Leia, beautiful, beautiful sister. And yes, uh, you want you want me to tell uh, people what journey you've been on? Yes, sure. Yes, she Wonderful. has been on Ghana December twenty nineteen journey. Yes, family, and that is the year that we literally acquired the land in Jahadzi. And this is now our, our beautiful, beautiful Secretary of Operation, the Assistant Administrator, and also the head of Africa for the Africans nonprofit organization, while I am head of Africa for the Africans corporate operation. So, me and Miss Leia are going to be working together a lot. And she has literally saw the land where I took her on and she's going to tell you realistically what she thought about the land when she went there in December 2019 and then what she saw with all the footage now December 2021 which is now January 2022. Miss Leia, my beautiful, wonderful, sophisticated secretary, can you stand up also please? Can you go, go, can you go, go through a little bit? So it's how sex she is. She's a nice, beautiful outfit. And let me get a hands on her. Look, look at it. This is Leia. So you know, family, I love beautiful women and I attract beautiful women. And I also want all beautiful women to work with our administrator and also work with me. And hey, my name the government Como. Me not do no sexual harassment to my staff members. So there's no me too, me too. Remember that story? <laughs> yes, that's some funny stuff. So this is beautiful Leia and some family. Respect my beautiful assistant and no funny business and everything. You know, we fired one of our assistant, uh, one of my, as a matter of fact, true story, while we're recording this, uh, Leia, we fired our second vice president. Second vice president for sexual misconduct. He will call women on our staff and crew. And also Leia, she is the member of plot number nine. She is building in the Black Star Pan-African community. Now, Miss Leia, when I took your $3,500, did I, did, I, did I scam you? No. You know, no. did you, well, you, you were the first person on the land. Mm -hmm. As you could say, Bomani, are we here yet? And especially those pictures with your sexy hips, Miss Leia. You remember? <laughs> she still got beautiful hips and beautiful body. But your family, uh, we had to get rid of that uh, jackass. A second vice president, his name is Charles White. He's a piece of trash. He sold intel to the organization uh, ran by uh, Nigger Pian and also the crippled hunchback uh, uh, Velta. So, um, you know, it's a long struggle and story, but anyway, um, Miss Leia, you are part of our community and we appreciate you. We're going to be adding you to the group text later and everything. And appreciate you uh, having our back and supporting it. But once again, you're serious. Are you seriously open to trusting someone like myself with all the money that you have? Like the $50,000 that you've given to us to build your home, to build that dream house that you have, and the builders that we have? Yes. Uh, Bomani Tayamba is trustworthy. He's legitimate. I've been there. I've seen the land. I've touched the land. I have rocks from the land. And the tour was wonderful. Everything was exactly as he stated. He said he was going to deliver X, Y, Z, and we got X, Y, Z. No problems. Everything was smooth and wonderful. I love it. I recommend the tours. I recommend every African American go get you some land. He's legitimate. He knows what he's talking about. He has connections on the ground there to meet you with anything you desire just contact him by Omani Tayemba thank you yes family absolutely family so we're doing it big we're making sure we represent to the highest level so we have a lot of wonderful stories to tell and we're going to get into a lot of dialogue and details but family it's also all about black power nation building and you should only trust reputable source if you are a person that listens to nigga peeing or that crippled hunchback retarded delta um, or any of these other people lily k that traitor selfish wicked uh biracial devil you know what i'm saying half breed family you are in a world of a world where these are the same people that destroy marcus garvey don't let them get to your ears 
What do they have to offer you? We have a lot to offer you. They have nothing to offer you. What are they building us black people? Nothing. They just serve black people. So family, I'm here with a wonderful sister that has traveled with me and also got land with me. And we'll work together. And she's there coming back to my office. And she was there earlier. We were working on some projects. And she's been in and out of my office over the period of time where we have projects to work together as a secretary and also administrator and things like that. And so is other people like Sanika and Niali and other friends that I have and other people. So family, it's about black power. Keep it real. Let's, let's stop running. So what we're going to do, family, is enjoy our food. And let me find out what you have you eaten. I have some... Like, like, let's see what you got baked, right here. Baked red snapper. Yes. With some peas and rice. Jamaican. It's a cabbage and some plantain. And some ginger beer, and I'm ready. I'm ready to get down and grow. Absolutely, at, family. At world famous Jamaican Jam Rock. Jam Rock. So look at her fine self. Come on, you sweet fine lady. You. <laughs> you should be working for a rich, fine Fortune 500 company. Instead, you're working for with more money technology. Turn around. There you go, family. A whole nice package. Fine piece of woman, you. You gotta be careful, man. You know, you gotta be careful if I tie you up later. <laughs> anyway, um, no government Cuomo stuff. Sexual harassment. Hey, Bomani, didn't you just fire Chaz, the second vice president for sexual misconduct? Well, yes, absolutely, but also I fired him for being a traitor. Treason, you get nothing. But do you know what when, when we fight our traitor? A trader, they lose all their assets and investment because they're on the run now. We got to file them for defamation and, and treason. You know, so they're lucky we don't tie their ass up and execute them with guns and spears. Or even worse, castrate these cowards. Woo! Woo! Rock on with your bad self. What about Bob McLeod chat boat? Family. We're a smart nigga PM. We make, we now make people like that take over the revolution. Fritzy, you're a revolution or you're a Navy. You are Navy. <laughs> Petty Officer Fritzy Taylor. Fritzy Leah Taylor. Petty Officer. You want to call you by your first name is Taylor. Yes. Petty Officer Taylor, just like that, Mambo Mani. Yes. But they call me Brown. Yes. Petty Officer Brown, Petty Officer Taylor. Yes. We were basically E4s in the Navy. And she was, what position were you? I was a yeoman. Petty Officer Pet Third Class. Can I call you name that we call you in the Navy? Okay, sure. Office bitch. <laughs> a yeoman is an office bitch in the Navy. I work with yeoman. They did all our legal paperwork and also personal men. That's another set of office bitches. I'm an aircraft technician and a technical person. And we do technical work and we talk shit about them. The office. All of you motherfuckers in the are freezing, fixing place. And you bitches up there in the office enjoying a good life. And these are men. And these are men, men, mostly men in the squadron. But the, the funny thing about it, we all went out later on and hang out, drink beers, and you know, find, went, went to hang out with fine women and take them back home to our barracks, and then party like badass sailors when you were like 19, 20, 21. And then, and then we would get into little fights at times at work and talk shit. Like, you know, it's me of some manhood stuff. So Fritzy is not her name, but my, but my wonderful daughter, Leah, and you're going to forget me because you're not going to be able to edit this. But uh, Leah, um, let's just say Bomani. Um, Leah, um, I, I, you know, or I, I keep on forgetting my manners. You know, we, yeah. we, 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 we use the military terminology to call the last name, say um, Petty Officer Taylor and stuff yes. like that. Right. But no, in this case, uh, what did you see? What did you see you know, as far as the military, like a group of men? Because there was not a lot of women. Do you see these macho, crazy ass guys that like to fight and have ego and shit to prove? They're, they were always fluffing their feathers, always trying to show off. I'll do each other. I can drink more than you. I can smoke better than you. And I can, I can fight and play bowling and everything. Yeah, they were always, always some game, always some competition. I'm better. Who's the best? Who's the baddest? All the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, family. So that's us in the Navy. We just have fun and have a good time. And uh, Leah, um, you know, she's been able to be an administration and, and, and technician as for myself. And uh, we know we're just kind of working together. We're just advising all the wonderful military personnel that are out there to come and connect with us. Let's do business together and it's for the black cause of black family. We serve the United States military as a patriot. And what we stand here 
is a proud patriot. Now, I love my country, she love our country, and we love being a part of the future of this wonderful country, America. And also, we understand that we can't cross a line. Because if you cross the line and show that you're black power you to the highest level, they, these people mollywop you and set you up and burn your shit down and black shirts, like they did to Black Wall Street. So you have to play certain games. But what we can accomplish is black ownership in Africa. We have a whole town. We can build a fresh administration and fresh entity. And we can keep our, our vacation homes and our family house here on Lake Namir and things like that and enjoy our life and come back here and have clean papers. So those are the things I propose to us and you know, I propose that we keep the peace and we get white people to do what we need them to do and not sit and fight toe to toe to them waste our time. Get use the system against them to empower Africa. That's why Fritzy is in charge of the nonprofit organization. And I keep on calling her many government names. She's gonna say Mr. O'Neill Brown, stop messing with my name. Yes, and I am O'Neill Brown, O'Neill Marcus Ryan Brown. That's my four government names, so we go by many names. But Leah, uh, one thing I would like to say uh, before we close out is the fact that you as being the, the director of the uh, Africa for Africans nonprofit organization, how proud do you feel to be a part of something and leading it uh, with your skills and background and seeing the work that Bomani Time has put in to build the corporate level and then they're going to give you all aspects to do what you need to do because we know that you love children, you love school, you love programs, and you're a product of the Mexican uh, takeover in California, which you literally do not agree with because what it does is destroy the future of young black children and the opportunity and put them at a disadvantage versus the white people versus other people. So you have created certain programs to help un black children in Africa basically have a competitive operation so they don't have to come to America. And all the schools and villages and orphanages that we support, you have social programs connected to the government where they'll get the best funding ever. Anything else you want to share about that, you can share and we're going to close out. Uh, yes, hello all you beautiful people out there. I feel privileged to be able to offer even an inkling of any type of assistance help, knowledge, guidance, direction to our beautiful, wonderful, deserving African children from our native land. I, I can learn from them and hopefully they can learn from me. I just feel honored to be able to share this experience and to uplift our people. I look forward to it because they need some uplifting and we need some uplifting and we can exchange our uplifting and love and positive energy and just grow together and make life, this thing we call life, make it so much better. It can be better, family. It can be better. And you and I can make it better. And that's what I want to do. That's what I hope to do. Until we see you next time, this is Leah signing off and happy sales. Yeah, absolutely, and before you roll, one last thing we got to add to the situation. One, one last thing we have to add to the situation, and, and that last thing we have to add to the situation is literally, you are teaching the greatest young mind ever to do things like invest in the stock market and that is little Bomani. You are a mentor to the young genius as an auntie. What are the things that you're going to be teaching him how to do as a young man? Yes. I dabble, just like more and more of us are dabbling in the stock market. And I've been dabbling. I got a little bit of crypto. You know, I got some Ethereum. You know, I got some Dodge. My sister's got some. She actually got the big Bitcoin. You know, what is it? High speed so wait, peaks and it's right sharp down peaks. You know, I dabble in some other companies and things, but yes, I look forward to exchanging what I do, the little I do know, with young, brilliant minds. Our youth are brilliant. You know, they're misguided, but they're brilliant. And they're hungry. And so, you know, as Bomani's auntie for two years. So, what do you think of young Mr. Bomani Dakari and his potential to learn the things that you're going to be teaching him as a specialist? Because after nine, after the eighth grade, 
he will no longer go to the system school anymore. He'll learn technology and business and learn how to run an empire along with all of his colleagues and his younger brothers, sisters and nieces. Imagine family, if you knew Somebody taught you when you were 10, 11 years old, taught you the basics of business, taught you the basics of that finance, taught you the basics of stocks and bonds. What would you be now if somebody taught you all of this? If good information instead of the BS we get in this education system. Uh, Bamani Takari is brilliant. He's a, he's a sponge right now. He's ready and able, and he loves to learn. He's already um, mentioned that he's interested in learning about stocks and investing and everything. And every allowance he gets, he's like, I want to invest it. I want to make some more money. <laughs> Double it, triple it, stack that paper, stack that paper. So he's right, primed and ready, and I'm primed and ready to give him a little bit of knowledge I have, and we can learn and grow together. Thank you. All right, absolutely. Leia and then family, we're just going to show you the last bit of food. There you go, family. In a dark view. Yes. And you take care, family. Live from Zamrock. Bomani Tambo giving you a night view. And family, we're going to shut down. And we're going to enjoy our food. And you come and check out Zamrock South, family. Here in Jonesboro, Georgia. We rocking on with our bad self. Yes, family. Rocking on. Out there, Gem Rock, Gem Rock South, and this is our beautiful vehicle, and it's the rocking on in the nighttime, you know. And we're bigging up the place, Gem Rock Restaurant. Nice food, niceness. You know, what I'm saying my beautiful vehicle family paid in full, enjoying the life, doing it big, making it happen, family, making it happen, and we big up to Gem Rock. And the beautiful view walking on with a bad self. Well, my Tamba live in the flesh family, and it's dark out here. You can't really see me, but you do see me have CV64. Nevertheless, this is family. <laughs> 